Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the 2020 Alumni Awards recognition. I am Jessica Mueller, the Associate Director of Alumni Engagement. And although we are unable to come together on campus as we have in years past, all of us at the university wanted to make sure a year did not go by without honoring our awardees. Thank you all for joining us virtually during this unique year of the award, Alumni Awards celebration and our 75th anniversary. Please note that this event is being recorded. For the best experience, please keep your audio muted. I also encourage you to use your virtual reactions at the bottom of your Zoom bar to show applause. And we may also prompt you periodically through the presentation to unmute to congratulate our awardees. To begin the recognition, I would like to introduce RMC, Trustee Ron Cubet. Trustee and RU computer alumnus, Ron Cubet serves as the Chief Executive Officer for Telenef LLC, a nephrology only tele telemedicine solution that focuses on rural and community hospitals, delivering care locally and allowing patients to stay home for remote care. Ron is a serial entrepreneur and has worked for multinational companies such as Optum, EY and EDS and has lived in Europe, Asia and Australia. He also founded a healthcare IT solutions company with operations in the US and Canada. Ron has a passion for getting involved. He previously held the position of president of the Colorado Healthcare Strategy Management, is currently a member of the Board of Trustees of Roosevelt University, and was a founding board member of No Barriers. Ron, we are so excited to have you here today and appreciate your time and willingness to serve as an MC for this occasion. Thank you. Well, thank you, Jessica. And I'm pleased to be here today to host this wonderful occasion. Our honorees bring pride to Roosevelt University and we appreciate that tremendously. Today, we're recognizing nine alumni who personify Roosevelt University's tradition of social responsibility. Each award is a prestigious award, honor that celebrates leaders who are change makers in their field and in their communities. I would like to first introduce the president of Roosevelt University, Ali, to commemorate this occasion and say a few words. Please give me, please give a warm welcome to President Ali. Thank you. Thank you so much, Ron. Uh, 75 years ago, Roosevelt University was born with a visionary leader and 62 faculty members bravely stood up against the norms of exclusion in favor of inclusion. They founded Roosevelt University as a place for all to belong, regardless of background. This year, we proudly celebrate 75 years of diversity, inclusivity, and equity. We celebrate our legacy of belonging, which includes the tremendous pride we feel in your accomplishment as alumni. The 2020 Alumni Award honorees have made a lasting impact on others through their outstanding professional and philanthropic contribution. So thank you for making your mark as part of Roosevelt's rich history. Congratulations again to all of our awardees. Ron, I'll turn it back to you. Thank you, Ali. And now let's begin recognizing the honorees. First, allow me to introduce Dean Ryan Petty to recognize the Keller College of Business awardee. Ryan. Thank you, Ron. Um, I'm very, very honored to uh, introduce Joseph Amen today. Uh, Joe is a former colleague of mine uh, in the college as well as uh, an alum. Uh, Joe graduated from the Heller College of Business in 1959 with a master's degree in accounting. From there, he went on to a very successful business career where he was a practicing CPA for 61 years and an attorney for 57 years, serving thousands of clients throughout his career. Additionally, he also sat on or currently sits on the boards of several organizations, both public and private. He also serves as an officer or a fiduciary for pension plans and trusts for both private and public charities. 
Separate from his business career, Joe was also a faculty member here in the Heller College of Business for 51 years, where he dedicated himself to preparing Roosevelt students for careers in the accounting field. Along with teaching taxation and accounting courses, Joe served as the chair of the accounting and finance department for 19 years. During his time on the faculty, he published multiple scholarly articles in the fields of taxation, accounting, and education, all of which accompanied presentations at many academic conferences throughout the United States. For his achievements as a faculty member, he was named the Samuel Speck III Distinguished Professor of Accounting and Taxation during his tenure here. Joe's impact on his students is evident and how many of them have stayed in contact with him over the years, which are numerous. He also established a scholarship fund for students and their continued support here in the Heller College of Business. He has received various teaching awards locally, regionally, and nationally from both academic and professional organizations at various times throughout his academic and professional career. For all of these reasons and so many more, it's my honor to recognize Joseph Amen today for the Heller College of Business Distinguished Alumni Award. Congratulations, Joe. Please share a few words. Thank you very much, Ryan. My undergraduate accounting degree and the first semester of my graduate program were taken at the University of Illinois Champaign-Urbana, where the faculty are primarily engaged in research and academic pursuits. I returned to Chicago to complete my graduate accounting studies to obtain a master's degree at Roosevelt University and take the CPA examination. At Roosevelt, the faculty were professional practitioners and academicians whose expertise was broadened by confronting issues presented in daily business practice as contracted with and distinguished from the University of Illinois. Professors David Kleinerman, Robert Tucker, and Samuel Spectri at Roosevelt were well-known and respected members who engaged their students in many examples of day-to-day -day practice issues that would confront them as they matriculated and accepted employment in the financial sector. The perspectives to which I was exposed at Roosevelt broadened my thinking as I dealt with many issues in the business world. Professor Spectri as department chairman and my teacher in at least three graduate courses invited me to join the accounting and taxation faculty while I attended law school and requested me to remain a full-time faculty member while I also pursued an accounting and law career. After the untimely death of Professor Spectri, I succeeded him as chairman of the accounting and taxation department for 19 years. And the chain of faculty seeking out exceptional students to join the Roosevelt accounting faculty continued my hiring excellent students as members of the Roosevelt faculty who were with us in those positions for many years. Some of those students that I hired were Harold Katz, Undine Stinnett, Don Hoppe, Mark Holtzblatt, and Jefferson Haskins. I am forever thankful and appreciative of the one year I spent as a graduate student and the 51 years as a faculty member and the mentoring I both received and gave and the friendships I continue to have from colleagues and students. And finally, but really first, I have to give my thanks to my wife of over 55 years, Susan, and my children who supported me in all my endeavors, including all of them at Roosevelt. Thank you very much for this tribute. I appreciate all the kind words that you gave Ryan. Well, thank you, Ryan, and congratulations to you, Joe. Now I'd like to introduce Dean Tom Fillion as he shares a bit about the College of Education Dean's Jordan's alumni list. awardee. What did he say? Thank you, Ron. Uh, it's great to see you again. And I'm thrilled to honor college awardee Dana Andre Butler. Dana graduated from Roosevelt with an MA in Educational Administration and Supervision in 1998. 
He is a proud retired principal from Irma C. Ruiz Elementary School. He served the Chicago Public Schools for 31 years, 20 of which were in administration. During Dana's tenure with CPS, he was a teacher, coach, assistant principal, and resident principal with the launch program. Dana also served as a professor in educational leadership and supervision for the American College of Education and as a mentor principal for new leaders for new schools. In 2016, Dana was the recipient of the Golden Apple Award for Excellence in Teaching and Leadership and the Stanley C. Golder Leadership Award. Currently, Dana serves as the field service specialist for the Illinois Principals Association that provides support to principals, assistant principals, and aspiring leaders in the Illinois regions, in, in regions across Illinois, and the, with an emphasis on Chicago Public Schools and the Archdiocese of Chicago. Dana has served on Roosevelt's College of Education Advisory Board since 2017, lending invaluable insight to shape the student experience and serving as chair of the board since 2019. Dana also has taught elementary education and principal preparation courses at Roosevelt and has given freely of his time on multiple occasions to speak with graduating students about a career in teaching. Dana has attended a wide range of meetings with accreditors and reviewers of our college over the last 10 years. He is a tireless advocate for Roosevelt on social media at regional and state meetings focused on the preparation of teachers and educational leaders, and is currently a volunteer with the professional mentoring program. <laughs> and on a personal note, I just wanna add that I've been in many, many state level meetings with Dana, and uh, he is undoubtedly one of the uh, truest friends that Roosevelt has. I think of a President Ali as being the, the biggest cheerleader at the university, Dana's really, really close to being at President Ali's level. That said, congratulations, Dana. Please share a few words. Wow. <laughs> um, wow, <laughs> that was kind of nice. Uh, greetings, uh, y saludos a todos. I would like to thank Roosevelt University, uh, President Ali, the RU Alumni Association, Jessica and Christy, uh, Dean Fillion, the College of Education and staff. Uh, también me gustaría dar las gracias a los Chicago Public Schools, the Irma C. Ruiz Elementary School family staff, parents and la comunidad, uh, the Golden Apple Foundation, and its uh, Academy of Educators and Leaders. And I'm sorry, I got to pause there. <laughs> and the uh, uh, the Illinois Principals Association, Dr. Leahy, staff field service specialist, uh, Percy Julian High School family, class of 80, Coach Mays, the Central State Marauders, Dr. Felker, Dr. Joseph D. Lewis, Olo Kiki Julo, <laughs> Cap Alpha Psi Fraternity Incorporated, Evergreen Park alumni, Delta Zeta, and the Furious 15. And a special thanks to the thousands of students, past, present, and future, for allowing me to the opportunity to be part of your journey. And of course, uh, my family, sisters Fred and Diane, sister Guinevere Felicia, uh, my awesome niece Camille, and rest in heaven, my mom and dad, and my special friend Robin. Uh, I shared all of these thanks and gracias because I believe that no one experiences real success without support, encouragement, opportunity, experiences, and humility. During these incredibly uh, challenging times, let us continue to be diligent, exercise self-care, self and of course, for me to pray. Humble thyself and do everything you can to make this world a better place. Uh, never lose hope, never lose faith. Uh, there's much too much at stake. Uh, not going to place or show we're going to win. Thank you so much for all the accolades and uh, have a wonderful day, Pastor Wendia. And congratulations to all of the recipients. Well, thank you, Tom and Dana. Per some of the chats I saw, it says you rock. So, congratulations and thank you for your many contributions to Chicago Public Schools. 
Now, Dean Melissa Hogan will introduce the College of Science, Health, and Pharmacy's Dean's Alumni Awardee. Melissa. Thank you, Ron. I'm so proud of our college awardee, Dr. Valerie Glodowski. Valerie is a member of Pharmacy's inaugural class graduating in 2014. I had the pleasure of getting to know Valerie as a student in the classes that I taught. Valerie stood out for her mature approach to learning and the questions, insightful questions that she asked. Valerie was also a leader in her class. She helped launch the Kappa Psi fraternity chapter on campus, which hosts community fundraisers and volunteering events, and also helped start our American Pharmacists Association chapter. Valerie is currently a pharmacy manager at CVS Health where she runs the highest volume store in Wisconsin. Through the CVS Health Pharmacist Teach program, she acts as a community advocate to educate teens and parents about prescription drug misuse and abuse in grades six through 12. She also mentors aspiring pharmacy colleagues to pursue PharmD candidacy. Valerie was appointed president of the college's pharmacy advisory board in 2019 and has served as a leader in that regard, informing our curriculum and supporting our students. Congratulations, Dr. Glodowski. Please share a few words. Thank you, to, to Dr. Hogan. So um, I just wanna say thank you so, so much to doc, Dr. Hogan and the Roosevelt University College of Pharmacy for this, this, pre this prestigious honor. Dr. Hogan has been and continues to be one of my role models to inspire myself to create change and to engage and inspire and, and inspire others to impact both their personal and, and professional lives. The Roosevelt University of College of Pharmacy has instilled in me competency, uh, competence, commitment, and compassion to allow me to, to continue to advance in the practice of pharmacy and to improve public health by serving in our communities through the the core, the core values that RUCOP has instilled upon myself. These are integrity and, and, and civility, professionalism and ethics, leadership, teaching, service and community. These core values instilled by Dr. Hogan and the Roosevelt University College of Pharmacy has allowed me to advance my career from pharmacy intern to pharmacy manager to Paragon winner within my uh, my company of CBS Health, and currently I am I was recently pr promoted to the new district leader, while serving on our RUCOP board of pharmacy as well. Thank you to my parents, my husband, my family and friends, and most of all to Roosevelt University and Dr. Hogan for your com your commitment and encouragement throughout my my whole co professional co career here. Thank you so much. Congratulations, Valerie, and thank you, Dean Hogan. Allow me to introduce the interim Dean, Cammie McBride, as she shares a bit about the College of Arts and Science Dean's Alumni Awardee. Cammie? Thank you, Ron. I'm proud to introduce my colleague and this year's honoree, Julie Rowan. Julie earned both a bachelor's degree and master's degree of history from Roosevelt University in 1992 and 1997, respectively. She has devoted 21 years of her career to advancing the intellectual and social justice work of Roosevelt University. Early in her career, Julie represented Roosevelt to a variety of external constituents through her work with partners in education. For the last 14 years, she has served as assistant dean of the College of Arts and Sciences. Julie takes the lead on scheduling and managing the college's many events and works seamlessly inside and outside the university with a wide range of partners. She has built a social media presence that expands the college's and university's reach, not just to our students, faculty, and staff, but across the region, the nation, and the globe. Julie has made countless contributions, large and small, to the college and the university. She is the glue that holds CAS together, and many students, faculty, and staff thank her for her great work. Congratulations, Julie. Please share a few words. Thank you very much, Cammie, for your kind words. And thank you to Roosevelt's Office of Alumni Relations and to all the staff for hosting this wonderful event. I'm incredibly honored to have been selected for the Dean's Alumni Award for the College of Arts and Sciences. 
after graduating with my MA in history in 1997, I never imagined that my professional career would take me back to my alma mater. I had assumed that I would spend the remainder of my career uh, working as I had for the past decade happily in the Illinois community college system. But then one day I saw that Roosevelt was looking for a director of partners in education, a department that expanded the outreach of the university to corporations such as Motorola, WW Granger, Allstate, um, and many more, and offered courses, Roosevelt courses, on site to employees in the workplace. And thus my career at Roosevelt, professional career, began. So over this, the past 21 years, whether it's been recruiting and advising adult students, teaching part-time, managing uh, the very large College of Arts and Sciences course schedule, as Cami alluded to, and really promoting the work, the amazing work of our faculty, students, and alumni to the broader community, I've felt it to be a real privilege to just have a very small part in broadening the outreach of Roosevelt University, a university that's so very dear to me. I've had many mentors along the way who've offered invaluable support, guidance, and friendship. I would like to thank uh, colleagues and now, uh, you know, now friends, Professor Margaret Rung and Dean Laura Evans, Lynn Weiner, Bonnie Gunzenhauser, Cami McBride, and so many other faculty and staff that I, I can't take the time to name here. Um, for always keeping me on my toes, helping me to do my very best for the Roosevelt community. And just also a big thank you to my mom and dad, who are always my biggest fans, and uh, to my husband, Tom, and my daughter, Rachel. Thank you very much for this award. Thank you, Cami and Julie. Roosevelt is grateful to have you as an alum and administrator supporting our university. So thank you very much. For our last Dean's Alumni Awardee, I'd like to introduce Dean Rudy Marcosi to celebrate the Chicago College of Performing Arts honoree. Rudy? Thank you, Ron. Our college awardee, Mary Sauer, earned bachelor's and master's degrees in piano performance from Roosevelt in 1953 and 1955, respectively. Inspired by her studies with teacher and mentor Rudolf Gans and concert pianist William Kappel, Mary's exceptional career has been marked by a six decade association with the Chicago Symphony Orchestra, performing on piano, harpsichord, organ, and celesta. She is the orchestra's only full-time principal keyboardist in its 129 year history, and the only keyboard coach of two generations of young pianists in the Civic Orchestra of Chicago. She established the first contracted principal keyboard position in any orchestra worldwide. As an international Steinway artist, she also received the Governor's Award from the Chicago chapter of the National Academy of Recording Arts and Sciences for her contributions in education, performance, recording, and her many years with the CSO. Mary served on the DePaul University faculty for 33 years and was head of the keyboard program for 22 of those years. Mary is also one of the founders of the New Music School in Chicago, where she serves on the artist faculty as the keyboard chair and continues to teach privately. Mary's life and work have been a model for Roosevelt students and a testament to the quality of our alumni community. Congratulations, Mary. Please share a few words with us. Thank you, Dean Marcosi. I feel truly honored to be chosen to receive this award. And I sincerely thank you, the award committee, and the music faculty for this distinct honor. I'm, I'm so thrilled and appreciative of the continued growth and development of the Chicago College of the Performing Arts over these many years into the prestigious leader in our musical world. This occasion is in such a contrast in this year 75th anniversary year to another anniversary year in which I was privileged to participate, Roosevelt's 10th year, 1955, 
with Eleanor Roosevelt as the guest of honor. It was held at the Stockyards Amphitheater, a dinner for the founders and friends of Roosevelt University. I had the unique opportunity to play on an electronic organ, the background music during the dinner. Today, we are celebrating virtually with limited attendance. That evening, there were over 3000 people attending the dinner. However, this celebration today makes receiving this honor even more personal and meaningful to me. Rudolf Gans, our dear Uncle Rudy, has been and continues to be such a role model, mentor, and inspiration for building my career in performance and teaching, not only by his great attention to beauty, detail, and adherence to the musical score, but the way he encouraged camaraderie and support within his studio. He was an elegant and generous man. I was grateful to have the opportunity to honor Dr. Gans with him in attendance when I had the privilege of playing his concerto in E flat with the Chicago Symphony Orchestra. The same concerto that he played with the CSO 25 years earlier. God has guided and blessed me abundantly through my life and my career. It has truly been a gratifying and fulfilling journey. I'm delighted to gratefully accept this award. Thank you, Dean Marcosi. Congratulations to you, Mary, and thank you, Rudy. Christy Kotek, Director of the Alumni Engagement, will be introducing and honoring our next four alumni awardees. Christy, I'll hand it over to you. Thanks, Ron. I actually think we're gonna have um, Associate Dean Anne-Marie Kusak will be introducing our, our next awardee. Anne-Marie? I'm very excited to introduce the young professional awardee, Ricardo Torres. Ricardo, we call him Rico graduated with his Master of Science in Journalism in 2011. Um, he had attended his undergraduate at UW-Whitewater and then joined our program at Roosevelt University. Uh, during his time with us, he also landed a very competitive internship at the Better Government Association, a nonprofit watchdog. Um, and among his experiences there were investigations that helped him to build up in an impressive portfolio of work. Roosevelt's coursework gave Rico hands-on experience in compassionate storytelling. And he secured his first job after graduate school at the Milwaukee Catholic Herald, which um, is a weekly paper for Milwaukee's Catholic community. During the weekends at that, during those years, he worked as a producer at News Radio 620 WTMJ. And he moved from the Catholic Herald to the Racine Journal Times, where he worked as an education and political reporter. He is now a reporter for the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel. He covers a number of different beats, including the Foxconn Project, one of the largest private developments in the country. And, um, you know, when when we were trying to find out some information about Rico for this award, um, I was unable to reach him because he was out covering the Miller Coors shooting. Um, he, like he says, does many different beats, but also puts himself on the line as a reporter. And he consistently reports on vulnerable communities. Recently, he covered the impact of the coronavirus on people who are homeless. He has won awards for his reporting on immigration, local government, the environment, and the Racine Unified School District. Um, and shortly before he left Racine, he won recognition from the Racine Interfaith Coalition uh, with their Outstanding Community Service Award for his reporting. I wanna say congratulations, but also as your former professor, I want to say I'm proud of you. And I think I can speak for our entire faculty when I say that. Thank you so much, Amory, for the uh, incredible kind words. And I just want to say that 
internship that you mentioned, I don't think I would have gotten it had I not stopped in and done a practice interview with you. And I will say that that practice interview was more difficult than the actual interview to get the inter- internship. So I do appreciate you uh, putting me through that, uh, that grind. And thank you to everyone at Roosevelt University. I wasn't sure what to expect when I arrived at Roosevelt. Uh, coming from Wisconsin, being a Packers, Brewers, and Bucks fan, coming to Chicago felt a bit like coming to enemy territory. But it worked out um, because I learned very quickly that Chicago is filled with great people and it's a great city and I just don't like their sports teams. That's just what I learned. And so, um, and another thing I learned is that Chicago and the entire state of Illinois has a passion for journalism, particularly what goes on in its local community. People in Chicago care about what's going on in Chicago. I learned that very early on and that has always influenced me since leaving uh chicago i've returned numerous times for visits uh for friends and just you know weekend getaways but uh the the journalism that i saw there during my time there was truly inspirational and if there's one thing that i do want to say oh and i also want to thank uh charlie madigan peter fallon john fountain and billy montgomery who were each uh, very helpful, instrumental to me and to a number of students who went through the journalism program there. Uh, And I just wanna say we're meeting virtually today because of this pandemic that we have going on. And we know what we know about this pandemic because of the journalism that's going on in Chicago at papers like the Tribune and Sun-Times and radio stations like WGN and WBBM, but in all other places, all of the all other all states, uh, there are reporters reporting on what's going on and there are lots of places having similar gatherings like this. And if there's one thing I do wanna say is please, please, please subscribe to your local newspaper, make a contribution to your local public radio station, you know, when the community stops reporting local journalism, that's how journalism dies in America. And I know that the people of Chicago and the people of Illinois care about their local journalism institutions. And so I hope to see that continue going on in the future. And thank you again to Roosevelt and everyone for, um, for all the the help that you gave me. No, nobody accepted me into their graduate program except Roosevelt. And so I am truly honored to represent this university and hopefully uh, continue to do good work. Thank you. Christy, do I turn it over back to you now? Congratulations, Ricardo and Anne-Marie. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Ron. And Congratulations to all of our alumni awardees. I'm so proud um, of each and every one of you. Thank you for representing the university in your community, in your industry, um, and your your day-to-day. So I would like to begin by introducing the um, Alumna of Influence awardee, Annie Warsaw. Um, This is the inaugural presentation for this award. Um, So we're very excited for her to be our first recipient. Annie earned her master's in history from Roosevelt in 2010. She built her career and personal life around empowering women and girls. In 2013, Annie founded founded Mission Propel, a gender equity program for elementary school girls. Uh, Mission Propel empowers girls to be leaders in their classrooms and communities and teaches boys how to be allies. The organization has worked with over 10,000 students and distributed over 35,000 original storybooks in the Chicago area. Annie is active with a variety of organizations helping to close the gender gap. She was the chair of the Women for um, Dense Leadership Board and advisory board member with She Votes Illinois, just Illinois, just to name a few. Annie also uh, teaches gender studies right here at Roosevelt University. Um, Congratulations, Annie. We're so proud of the fantastic work that you're doing out in the community. Um, Unfortunately, Annie is unable to join us today, but she did uh, record a few words that we're going to be sharing with you now. 
Thank you so much to Roosevelt University and the Alumni Relations Committee for awarding me with the Alumna of Influence Award. I'm really honored that I get to be the first person to receive this award. Um, I appreciate the support that Roosevelt has given me over the past 12 years, going from being a student to then starting my own company and then joining as a staff member on the women or faculty member on the Women and Gender Studies Department has been just incredible and quite frankly a bit of a dream. Um, I also want to give a major shout out to one of the most influential people in my life, Dr. Sandra Frank, for without her I'd be nothing. Um, so I really appreciate the continued support um, and I know that if I ever need anything I can go to Roosevelt um, and as my career has grown you've just always been super supportive. So I'm very grateful and thank you so much and also I'm sorry I could not be there today. Well, congratulations again, Annie, and thank you so much for, for sharing um, that video. We're very proud again of all that you've done. Next, um, I would like to pr uh, present the Social Justice Awardee to Ellie Dare DePaula. Ellie Dare DePaula is a 2019 P piano performance graduate, is a Brazilian classical pianist, composer, and um, pedagogue. His aptitude for music was uh, noticeable at the age of six when he won a national piano competition. After earning his conservatory diploma and moving to the United States, DePaula earned his master's of music degree in piano performance at James Madison University. He studied at Roosevelt um, under the tutelage of Dr. Ludimala Lazar when he, when he earned his diploma. So since 2017, uh, DePaula has held the position of music director at Unity Lutheran Church of Berwyn. Ellie Dare also launched Project 88, a nonprofit organization in Berwyn, Illinois, which presents free classical concerts to the community and offers free and low tuition music classes. He serves as the executive and artistic director of Project 88 and is passionate about providing students of all ages, races, cultures, and socioeconomic status the same opportunities to learn and grow as musicians. Congratulations, Elidaire. We are deeply proud of your accomplishments and your commitment to social justice in the arts. I'll turn it over to you to say a few words. Thank you, Christy. Um, thank you everyone for being here. I'm extremely honored to receive this award. I could say that this reflects my hard work, the hours I've spent uh, learning a new language, a new craft, practicing the piano, composing, networking, grooming my beard, and making myself noticed. But I don't believe that has been my endeavor here. My goal is beyond my own personal accomplishments. And I grew up in a rural area in Brazil where classical music was just a fancy term. If it weren't for the opportunities given to me through social justice programs, I wouldn't be here today. Creating Project 88 Music Academy was just the beginning of my commitment to give back to the community. That opportunity that now is my privilege. We are so much powerful. We have so much power through uh, our privileges and talents. And social justice is sharing these opportunities with others that might not have had those same privileges and opportunities. This price is more than a recognition. It is an invitation for all of us this award is a Roosevelt University saying, do more, you can do more. We support you, we believe you, we challenge you to do more. As an artist, I take this invitation to enhance and expand the work I'm already doing, to enrich and enhance the lives of so many people that are part of underprivileged areas and minority groups such as Latinx, immigrants, black, LGBTQ+, and the many artists that deserve to be heard, but have been suppressed by the industry. I'm one of them, I've been there. Out of luck or not, I overcame some of the challenges that come with being part of those groups. Now, my privileges are social justice tools to change the world. And even if it's just by sympathetic vibrations, I want to highlight the opportunity for all of us to do more because there's more work to be done. Thank you again for the leadership at Roosevelt who has offered this award. I'm grateful, I'm humble, honored, and encouraged. 
President Ali, I know that you join me in challenging all of us today in thinking deeper about the change we can create in our own community. Thank you, everyone. Congratulations again, Ali Dare. Um, lastly, I would like to introduce our distinguished alumni awardee, Hans Zygmunt. Hans earned his master's in economics from Roosevelt University in 2004. When he served as director of the Illinois Office of Management and Budget, he negotiated a bipartisan budget compromise on behalf of Governor Bruce Rohner. The budget helped restore funding to critical human service and educational programs, and also restored public confidence that had been fractured in the nation's longest budget stalemate. A few of the many projects Hans helped secure funding for over his ten tenure, including the um, Ludeman Development Center in Forest Park, 150 million in funding for the Illinois Department of Corrections Joliet Treatment Center, and the Coliseum at the Illinois State Fairgrounds in Springfield. Wow. Serving as the state finance director for the state of Alaska, Hans oversees accounting operations, payroll and production of the comprehensive annual financial report. He works to bring transparency and accountability to statewide accounting operations as and is implementing technology that will make Alaska a nationwide leader in accounting information systems. Hans advice for current Roosevelt students is that the most important aspect of your university education is to become a critical thinker. Find someone like you, respect that you can disagree with and still be friends. Congratulations, Han. We're so proud of all that you've accomplished. I'll turn it over to you to say a few words. Thank you, Christy. And uh, thank you, Jessica, too. Um, thank you, Roosevelt University. President Ali and the Board of Trustees for this award. Um, first, thank you to my wife, Dana, who's here with me today and is also a 2004 Roosevelt alum uh, for extraordinary patience uh, during my career in public service. Um, during all the time I spent away from the family down in Springfield and for accompanying me on our latest adventure um, serving the great state of Alaska. Thank you to the economics department, to the current and former faculty, including my mentor, Professor Natalie Davila, Professor Langer, Professor Rosenberg, Professor Balkin, former visiting professor, Stephen Antler, and uh, the late Professor Paul Green, who gave me my first opportunity to teach a course in elementary statistics at Roosevelt. I'd like to thank Governors Quinn, Governor Rauner, and here in Alaska, Governor Dunleavy, uh, for the faith that they've placed in me. Lastly, I want to accept this award with the continued spirit of public service and the sincere hope that our nation can mend and restore bipartisan cooperation, the trust expertise, and public service professionalism for the greater good. Thank you, Christy. Hans, congratulations. And as a fellow alumni of Roosevelt University, class of 84, from the Honolulu campus, though, I want to thank all of our winners to today. How about a big congratulations to everybody? Thank you very much. Such amazing work and story shared today Yay. by our alumni and those who support them. <laughs> we can't say enough how proud we are of you. Thank you for building on Roosevelt rich legacy. You've made a real difference in our communities and your communities as well. One person who laid the foundation of the spirit of Roosevelt University is Eleanor Roosevelt. She stated, the surest way to be happy is to seek happiness for others. To celebrate Roosevelt's 75th anniversary and our awardees, please consider making a gift by texting the numbers you see down below, 75475 to 243725, or by visiting roosevelt.edu slash giving. The students you help support today will become our society's next generation of entrepreneurs, scholars, and achievers. 
the very change makers we are celebrating today. Following this celebration, the 2021 Alumni Awardee nominations will be open. We are adding a new future alumni award that will recognize a current student who's committed to their academic and professional success, who embodies the mission and the vision of Roosevelt now and in the future as alumni. Thank you for joining us here today. We look forward to celebrating with you the 2021 Alumni Awardees in the spring. Take care, go Lakers, and I wish everyone a wonderful Thanksgiving holiday.